friends, uh, today we will try connecting Oracle 12 Series 1 through PHP. So, <coughs> for connecting Oracle 12 Series through PHP, I'm using PHP version 5.5. So, what I've done, I've installed here, uh, just let us see, this is my, my WAMP server. I've installed the WAMP server and uh, I'll just uh, get check the version. It says uh, PHP here in the Apache version is 2.4.9 and PHP version is 5.5.512 and the MySQL version is 5.6.17. So let us see what is actually the WAMP server version. So my WAMP server version is 2.5, it is given Apache 2.4.9, MySQL 5.6.17 and PHP 5.5.12, 64-bit. So I've installed this one and uh, here I have just configured my php.inl file. What you require, you just search for the OCI. And searching for OCI, as you can see, if you uh, open this file, you will only find this two. You will not find this php underscore OCI 8 underscore 12c.dll. You will not find this line. So you will only find this two line. I don't require this one. This is for Oracle version prior 11g. This is for Oracle version 11g. I have just added this line php underscore oci eight underscore 12c.dll. Now, after that, what I will do, I will just go to this PHP. This is a link. You can also search in Google and you will find this all this <coughs> instant client which I require. And from this, you, you just, I uh, will just give you this link on my YouTube my comment section. You can find it. In this section, this is actually what I have downloaded. This is 2.0.8.8-5.5c. 2 .8 .8 I'm using PHP 5.5, so that's why I'm using, I'm just downloaded this 5.5 TSBC11. TS means threaded. TS is threaded and NTS is non-threaded. <coughs> And TS is threaded safe and NTS is non-threaded safe. So I've downloaded this one <coughs> and after downloading it's uh, just a zip file and uh, what I have done, uh, I have extracted the content of the zip file. Just to look, just let us look at the zip file. So this is a zip file <coughs> and this zip file contains the php underscore oci dot dll php underscore oci underscore 11g dot dll php underscore oci underscore 12 c dot dll which do we require this one <coughs> and uh, extracted this uh, one uh, just uh, let us see where I show you why, where I have extracted this one I have extracted this one I have gone to my WAM folder installation folder under that bin folder under that PHP under that PHP 5.5.1.2 under that ext in this ext folder I have extracted see all these files <coughs> I have uh, uh, extracted the entire content of the file after extracting this one I have just opened my php.ini file just uh, you just go here and just click on select the php and on the submenu click on php.ini file so <coughs> in this file just a moment uh, in this file I will find out for OCI yeah as I told you I have just this, you will not find this line. I have added this line PC, a PHP underscore OCI 8 underscore 12C dot DL. And uh, if uh, <coughs> let's remember one thing if you uncomment uh, this, uh, all semicolons are uh, comment section. These are comment in the INA file. I've, un I've just added this. This is not commented. And if you, if, uh, if uh, on when you start your RAM server, is RAM services, <coughs> if uh, I mean, if the service uh, do not find the file in the specific ext directory, uh, the service will fail, it will not start. 
So to be sure that you first extract all the files and after that you add this line in this in this INF file. So after adding this, restart the service uh, and remember that in WAMP, make sure that your WAMP is always online. Don't put it offline. <coughs> Just restart the service. After restarting, uh, what I have done, the we have called, I have just put it in my www directory, I have just created the Quora underscore connect file, dot php file, and this is my code. So, it's nothing, it's a just a con very connection very object, and the function name is oc underscore connect, this is the username, this is a password, I have given the format here before, username, this is a password, this is oracle SID and just remember in oracle SID you have to provide the host name i provided the ip address here slash the service name uh, i hope you know how to create the service name in <coughs> oracle database so the service name which you have created you have to provide that service service name here so it's the ip address or host name slash service name in place of oracle SID. so <coughs> if the connection object succeed uh, okay, then connection succeeded, echo, and else connection failed, and just raising a trigger error for the connection fail, connection failure. Now here is uh, I'll just give you this. I'll obviously give you this code on the <coughs> on your section uh, on the my comment section, or and uh, I'll, uh, you can get this code from there. So this is a just uh, dynamically I've just created a table uh, HTML table tag and under that this is the main section in the under PHP uh, there is a <coughs> statement object as known as STID which is equal to I pass OC underscore parse this is a connection object and this is the SQL statement and executed the statement object after parsing and then fetching the row. This is a row where uh, OCI fetch array is a function which re returns the current row, <coughs> the current cursor, uh, current row cursor. <coughs> it returns the row which contains the statement object STID and uh, it loops runs until it's not false. Yeah, I mean until it ends the end of the table. And under this again we have just created some HTML tag, HTML table row and table design. Under that I have just say row 0 and row 1. Row 0 is the section code and row 1 is the section name. <coughs> and after that I free the segment object, STID and close the connection. So this is the code, this is uh, the main section which I, which I want to show you is that how to connect to the Oracle 12C database. So <coughs> Yeah, I again go through my some of my thing. Ah, okay, let us uh, show you. Uh, this is I'll just run this again. I'm running ora underscore connector php. Okay, so this is my output of the file, and uh, again show you to just uh, look at this URL. This is the URL. You, if you have PHP for 5.6, you will download the 5.61, and you have PHP 5.4 or 5.3, you can download any of this, which you have either 64 bit or 32 bit, whichever operating system you are using. And <coughs> you may face, if you are using 64 bit and you may and Windows 8, you may face uh, another problem that your web server might not start. Might, might fail because you need to install this dependency. Also, follow this link. Just uh, download a Visual C++ redistributable, redistributable uh, for Visual Studio 2012 Update 4. Just download this one, installed, and your problem will be solved. You are if you are using Windows 8 64-bit. So, this is all about connecting PHP to Oracle 12C database. Thank you very much.